chose a reporter instead. What I need from you is to put a muzzle on your father. I don't think empty threats gonna get the job done. We got money, two flights. We're in Havana by... What's going on, man? We back in the low-key cave. Keyshawn Mountain's YouTube page, a.k.a. Mr. Low-Key. We back with a new Snowfall review. This is episode eight of season four, Betrayal. We are coming off what just happened as far as the reporter getting the story out from um, Franklin's daddy, Alton, giving her pretty much everything on the CIA, what Franklin got going on, like just everything. And the reporter pretty much got the story out there. She putting the story out there. So you pretty much got all this shit coming down. All this shit coming down. And this is why Teddy is out in the goddamn jungle because he's trying to get this shit situated with these weapons and this money shit. So he's pretty much out in the jungle and he come across a, just a ba basically a bunch of bodies. Shit is burnt up. He's come across a bunch of shit just fucked up. And he pretty much gets knocked out by some little girl or some shit. Once again, um, I always say that I try to give everybody a chance to watch the show. That's why I try to wait till at least Friday or Saturday because I do spoilers. Just a um, heads up, I do straight up spoilers. But anyway, basically get some little girl knocking Teddy out. And she, I guess, um, pretty much had family there. She was probably there. It was a camp. Basically doing everything Teddy had them doing while he's over in the States. That's basically what she was saying. And I'm like, damn. So you basically got to leave. Like, um, it's just a lot going on as far as everything he has going on with this, still with this uh, weapons situation and the money. So he pretty much is over there half the episode in the jungle dealing with this little girl and the situation that's going on over there pretty much with this whole shit that got burned down and his contact is dead that he had over there so it's a lot going on then we get back to franklin you got jerome and i want to apologize last uh review i was calling jerome tyrone <laughs> uncle tyrone i apologize it's uncle jerome but anyway i mean you just got jerome pretty much fed up with everything you know he's been lied to you know uh Louie and Franklin knew Teddy was the CIA and they knew that was they plug bringing in the shit and I mean Jerome was pretty much didn't know shit and he's pissed about that shit from Louie telling him last time by the way I want to know what's going on in little Arkansas like what's going on down there like what's what they got going on I, wanna, I hope they uh say something about that in the next episode so we can see what they got going on down there but anyway just you pretty much got Jerome pissed off because they was lying to him and not telling him everything and he felt like it's their fault with everything that's going on now. <laughs> you got Franklin like, yo. <laughs> Let me tell you something, bro. Franklin, whenever he get to that point where he about to, his voice start getting higher and higher, you know it's about to be some real shit going about to go down. It took me straight back to when he was in a car with Leon and he trying to explain to him what that shit with him and man boy, like nigga, this business. He like, you try to get it cuz cause you just don't like the way the motherfucker talk. <laughs> Nigga voice just straight up changes. Like when Franklin get mad, that shit is a rap. So you got everybody pretty much, you got Jerome in there pretty much blaming him and everything, saying shit, we about to go down, CIA shit, all this blah blah blah. Say. And Franklin pretty much sitting there like, oh, hold on. Who name is in the paper? Like, nigga, they ain't talking about you. They not talking about Louie. They not talking about none of y'all. They talking about me. He said, I got to take the bullet. He said, like this shit with Kevin. He said, like that shit with that bitch ass Andre. And he's talking about every other motherfucking situation I done got us out of. <laughs> I love, yo, look. Franklin will be cold this season, but like I said, the mother, the nigga thinks. And I said it. I said, he going to figure this shit out. But he wasn't on. I thought he knew. I thought he already knew about old girl. We going to get to that. But I did. I thought he knew about old girl, but I mean, but before I get to that, we're going to go to um Alton, Franklin's daddy, pretty much coming up trying to get um Franklin mama, Cece, to basically leave. He want him to come down with him to Havana. This is my problem with Alton. I feel like, and I know he had this whole situation with Black Panthers and everything that went on with the times that he came into like any other person. I feel like came around those times that had to deal with, with the crack epidemic, Black Panther movement, as far as the whole racial profiling that was extra strong in those times. I just feel like, though, you left Franklin, like, half of his life. Like, you left 
a point of his life. How are you gonna come in? And I know you're trying to get him to leave. You know, I know you're trying to get him to like get him out of this situation. But it's like when you try that one time and then that's it. You done with it. And I get it. Frank, frankly, he pretty much saying he's done with you. I mean, he done pretty much bitch slapped you with his cane. So I get it. But still, you was father. Like you left him. You pretty much put. I ain't gonna say you put him in this situation, but you not being that male role model there to lead, kind of lead him on. It feels like, how are you just better to jump out the window now and just go? That's why I'm not fucking with this situation. I hear, see, I hear the arguments about people saying, not saying, Alton not a snitch. I mean, he trying to save his family, trying to save his son. I get that part, but look, the way you went about it, like he should have came to CC first. He should have came to his wife. He should have came to them first. And then said something about the reporter, which I'm about to get to. <laughs> you know I'm about to get to that. But yeah, that's my issue with him. It's like, nigga, you can't just pop in and get everything straight with your son. Like, you back in his life, which he pretty much, I mean, okay, give or take. His mama got him straight. His mama got Alton back straight. But Franklin coming in and them just trying to, you know what I'm saying, deal with everything that's going on because they didn't want to lose Franklin again. They didn't want to just um, be out his life again as far as his mama saying, as far as him knowing that he dealing with drugs and whatever he's doing. My whole thing with Alton is like, nigga, you ain't even been around. His mama would have had that good argument for that. But she is like sticking it out because she is like mother's love for their son, like I said last episode. But that's my problem with Alton. I just feel like you shouldn't jump ship just this quick, bro. Like, if anything, I feel like CC, his mama was just ready. She was ready to go down with it. Whenever whatever was going down, she was gonna she was ready. And I feel like he should have been at that point too, especially not being in Franklin's life. But let's get to the reporter. Okay. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen when you did all of this? You talking about the government. Like 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 Franklin said like they you so um Franklin pretty much reaches out to the reporter and they have a meeting or whatnot. And long story short, he pretty much starts naming her family members and she's like yo 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 you chill out don't not name my fucking family and all this he like wait 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 you thinking i'm gonna hurt him this frankly he like nah not me you gotta worry about the government you naming people cia agents you naming government officials that's bringing drugs into the united states nigga what you think is going to happen <laughs> that's what i was tripping off this reporter for and i was just waiting bro i'm in the whole episode like oh she about to die she about to die you know how they had these little moments in episodes where you got these characters where they stick get quiet and whatnot but i'm not trying to this is not spoilers or whatnot because like i said these are predictions for me as far as it goes with her <clears throat> i feel like she is going to die but i feel like her husband the black guy that's been coming around pretty much keeping an eye on her helping her out <clears throat> excuse me i'm sorry and once again the acting this season man i want to just give a hands down to the acting this season from everybody even like from the reporter and her husband like you you sitting there listening to her and she's not even a bad character we just love these characters so much that's the thing about this show that's why i say it's just this shit is so good because this reporter, she is just, she is just fighting for a good cause. Like she is trying to do the right thing, and we don't like her. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because this is what people we've been riding with. This is the characters that we love. But anyway, back to what I was saying. I, this reporter is like, what would you think was going to happen? But my whole thing, as far as predictions, I feel like she is going to get killed. But I feel like her giving her husband those things when something does if something does happen to her he's going to come in and start trying to push things forward because you see how he's warning her he keep warning her he keep warning her. that's why i feel like something's going to happen to her and that's where we come with teddy and my nigga also before i even get to teddy also coming to the reporter how about you got basically cia coming in there trying to get the shit from teddy teddy not there right here in the jungle but you got also there. I fucking love Teddy and also as this team, man. This has been the best thing this season. You know, I had started talking about old girl. What happened to old girl that was with also? What happened to old girl? Forget them. I love Teddy and also as that team. But anyway, you got the CIA agent coming in there like, yo, I got to go get some stuff at the office. Also's like, oh, the door locked. But that means you ain't supposed to be getting and you ain't supposed to be in there. He like, all right. So he goes to get something to try to open the goddamn door. Also gets the gun. This nigga's like, hey, I am Teddy's boss. He, 
Oh, so yeah, you his boss, not mine. <laughs> what can love Oso do, man? I'm telling you, this is what I'm saying. These dudes are not good guys. They done done some fucked up shit, but these are characters we love, man. But anyway, and then these CIA agents, they come back to the place where, you know, Teddy and Oso been held up at doing whatever they, they doing, and the shit is cleared. It's gone. Oso done cleared this shit out. I... Also, is not a dummy. He is smart, and so is Teddy. And I love the team dynamic of these two. And I'm just hoping that I'm just waiting on that moment where you got Franklin, Teddy, and Oso. Like you, you telling me that that's the ultimate team up for me. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, back to the reporter. I knew this shit was coming. Before I get to that part, though, you have Teddy coming to Franklin and basically talking and telling him like, "How the fuck you let this get out?" My whole thing with that situation, when Teddy comes to Franklin, is it's not even, I, I, this is me. I, that's not Franklin's fault. To me, you had the DEA agent that um, Teddy and them killed. You know, also killed that DEA agent girl. So you have that whole situation going on. That This whole thing is coming from that situation. This is not Franklin's situation. The DEA agent gave that information to that reporter. So that's really how she got to Franklin Daddy. And, you know, he really did give her everything still. But you know what I'm saying? So my whole thing with that situation is I'm like Franklin. I'm thinking Teddy is about to be like, yo, I'm done with Frank. <laughs> like, I'm for real. Like, I'm done with Franklin. I can't deal with this shit no more. You fucking up too many times. But Teddy is like, yo, I'm I'm with you to the end. Like, I got you. I'm honestly, I'm man, maybe Teddy. This is some good acting. Like I said, this is some good acting this season. But, may, like, I feel like Teddy is really going to ride with Franklin. That's how I really feel. I feel like Teddy is honestly trying, going to, like, he is really there for the long run with Franklin. So, once again, I'm loving they team up. I'm loving their relationship all the way from, what, season two when uh, he crashed uh, into Franklin's car. <laughs> but anyway, from there, you basically got Teddy saying you can't trust nobody. You can't trust nobody, and I, this is why I love Teddy and the way he moves and the way he thinks. Every time we think Teddy is going down square, he losing it. You know, he doing the drugs, he drinking. Here he comes back. He right back, focused and ready to go. So we get to this whole point where the uh, reporter lady sleep, and here come Teddy and Oso. <laughs> I don't know what he put into her arm. He basically told her, you're going to wake up this time, but next time you not. In my opinion, this going to make that reporter woman go harder. <laughs> Facts. I feel like she's going to go even harder because you've seen, like, she is not intimidated by threats. And I feel like now, unless they put some heroin into it, like, unless they put some drugs into her system or some shit, I feel like she's going to definitely go harder because she has this thing with the government. She's not after Franklin them. She wants the government. She wants the CIA them because some situation that happened with her family or whatnot. So I definitely feel like this is not the end of her story. This is why I feel like she's going to die. <laughs> but anyway, we come to the damn favorite part of the motherfucking episode. <laughs> we all know. Come on, man. We all know. Franklin girl. What we been saying. We can't trust this motherfucker, bro. She is up to something. She is doing something. Look at who we... Little do we know, it's man boy. A lot of people already said this was a man boy mold. She was a man boy mold. She was in there working with man boy, and we find out that's who she been working for. And in some situation with her brother and her trying to get some money, or whatever. But anyway, like I said, I'm like Franklin. Like I said last review, man. Come on, Franklin. You gotta know it's something going on with her. Teddy put that bug in his ear, and he pretty much put two and two together. They go back, he goes back to the hospital and she pretty much like this and then the third about man boy. This is how you can pretty much put an end to this one. And just Franklin just sitting there like, oh shit. And you see, he start rubbing his chest. Franklin start rubbing because that's when he's like, fuck, this bitch been working with. Like you can see it in his face. He like, nah, we are sitting there like saying something. He like, we can't trust none of this shit. <laughs> he like, Peaches, go get the car. <laughs> I knew it was, that was it. That's it. And a lot of people are saying, reference this to like some Godfather scene or some shit. I don't know, but I knew from there. You already know how them scenes go. She go to call man, boy, blah, 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 whatever. And then it get real quiet. And it, it just, the camera just stand on uh, Franklin's old, the, uh, the, the girlfriend or whatever. She just sit back in the chair. And I'm like, I'm just waiting for somebody to shoot her. I'm like, oh, shit, somebody going to shoot this bitch in the head. It's just going to bow. It's over. <laughs> you know? Because it's just lingering. And it, it, 
man, I'm telling you, this shit is so, it's just tense, man. This is one of them tense scenes, and you just waiting for some shit to happen, and all of a sudden, you see that cane, and you see Franklin feet stepping out, and you like, oh shit, that nigga, there he go. He's standing there, she's jumping up, that motherfucker jumped up like she was about to goddamn piss on herself. <laughs> and Peach is holding the gun, and all you hear is those words. How long you been playing? <laughs> And I knew it. I was like, this shit about to go off. <laughs> this shit about to go off, man. But yes, man, I'm, I'm loving this season. This has to be one of the best seasons I feel like personally this came out. And I almost feel like the whole situation with the pandemic, not saying, man, trust me, didn't nobody want to go through this pandemic or nothing, but I feel like this gave writers more time to put better stories out there. I feel like they probably, this probably wasn't even like, I feel like this wasn't where we was going. Maybe this wasn't where we was going. Maybe it was. Who knows? Because I feel like it's been, the writing been getting better and better each season anyway. Even with last season. You didn't expect that nigga to kill Andre. I did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's definitely has gotten better and better with the writing and storytelling. And the acting is phenomenal. Jerome is going to be on a war, pal. And I know I feel like I ain't talked too much about him and his situation. And yes. You know the situation with Louie getting shot? Like I said, it was just a, so much going on in this episode. But Jerome is definitely going to be on the warpath. And Scully girl and man boy sister, like she is, man. She going there. And I'm telling you, I keep telling y'all, I think she's going to be that next point in play. Or you're going to have a situation where man boy is going to end up killing her and you're going to have Scully coming after man boy again. I don't know. Because man boy is after this plug. He after it hard. But... That was pretty much my review of Snowfall Season 4, Episode 8, Betrayal. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know how y'all felt about this episode. Did y'all enjoy it as much as I did? Are y'all enjoying this season as much as I'm enjoying this season, man? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. This is the road to 100 subs, man. Shout out to all my subscribers. This is the road to 100 subs, man. We almost there, man. I appreciate everybody viewing my videos, man. We out. From here on, you just can't trust anyone. I'm gonna kill Leon and Franklin. We're gonna take his place. I'm gonna step in front of the bullet. We don't stop this.